Have you ever pondered how one man's death could have such a profound impact on the world of philosophy? This question brings us to the enigma of Socrates, an individual whose influence remains undiminished centuries after his demise. Socrates was no ordinary man. Born in the heart of ancient Athens, he was a stonemason by profession, but his true calling lay in the realm of philosophy. His approach was unique, revolutionary even. He questioned everything, relentlessly pursuing wisdom and truth. His method, known as the Socratic method, was a form of cooperative argumentative dialogue that stimulated critical thinking and illuminated ideas. His influence was vast, his teachings profound. And yet they were not without consequence. Socrates challenged the status quo, dared to question the norms of society, the beliefs of his time. This did not sit well with the powers that be. His teachings were considered a threat, his influence a danger. And so he was put on trial, accused of impiety and corrupting the youth. Socrates, a man who dared to question, found himself facing the ultimate consequence. In the heart of Athens, Socrates was put on trial, not for a crime of violence or theft, but for corrupting the minds of the youth and impiety. This was no ordinary trial. It was a trial of ideas, a trial of philosophy. The charges were grave, but the man standing accused was unflinching. Socrates, the father of Western philosophy, stood tall, his wisdom his only weapon. He was accused of questioning the pantheon of Athenian gods, a direct affront to the city's traditions. His teachings, it was claimed, led the youth astray, prompting them to challenge the established order. But Socrates was not to be silenced. He defended his philosophy with the same passion with which he lived his life. The unexamined life is not worth living, he declared, reinforcing his belief in the pursuit of knowledge, even if it led to uncomfortable truths. His conviction was unwavering, his philosophy uncompromising. He was offered a chance to repent, to renounce his teachings and live. But Socrates chose truth over life. He chose philosophy over compromise. And so he was sentenced to death, a lethal dose of hemlock his final libation. But even in his last moments, Socrates remained resolute. He drank the poison with the same courage and conviction with which he had faced his accusers. His death was not a defeat, but a testament to his unyielding belief in his philosophy. And so, Socrates met his end not with a whimper, but with a defiance that echoed through the ages. Socrates' death was not in vain. It served as a catalyst, sparking a revolution in philosophical thought. And what a revolution it was. His demise shaped the works of his students, the likes of Plato and Aristotle, who carried his torch, illuminating the world with their own philosophical insights. It wasn't just about the teachings he left behind, but the symbolic resonance of his death. It was a testament to the freedom of thought and the heavy cost of challenging established norms. In death as in life, Socrates left a mark on the world of philosophy that remains indelible even today.